Well, Jeff and Susie, tonight Metro is warning its riders about a 15-minute delay on its Gold Line service after a truck crashed on the 210 freeway and landed on its tracks. This comes after a string of similar accidents. Well, now there's an effort to raise the bar on safety in the future. The first thought, it just, it's repetitive. Nearly six months after this crash on the 210 freeway in Pasadena, Gilbert Gomez still has this picture he took of it in his phone. The memories came rushing back <laughs> after a semi truck crashed onto the Golden Line tracks on Thanksgiving morning. Kind of like shook my head and like kind of did that, oh, not, ag not again, you know. Street Blog LA reports six trucks have crashed through the barrier along the freeway in the past four years. Why couldn't they build it higher? In fact, Metro is in the design and analysis stage to raise the barrier in the Pasadena area. Cost will be between 11 and 20 million dollars. It will be in two phases with a start tentatively set for next summer. My concerns with uh, traffic overgoing the, the barriers I haven't, not really, no. Any replacement plan will likely affect freeway traffic during the construction work. Mark Green hopes the investment in time and money will get more commuters to trade their cars for the rails. I think anything to relieve the traffic congestion and promote um, public transportation, I think is a good idea. In the meantime, Metro says riders can expect a 15-minute delay on the Gold Line between Sierra Madre and Pasadena because of Thursday's crash while a system is being repaired. It could take weeks, but riders like Gilbert Gomez say fixing the barrier couldn't happen soon enough. You know, the train gets back and everyone goes to work, but next time the outcome may be much worse. And at this point, Metro is working to coordinate with Caltrans to figure out how to move forward with that replacement plan. We are live in Pasadena, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.